Hello dear traders, you are watching weekly stock market review on Insta Forex TV channel with me, Tahmina Salomova. US stock indices closed high on Friday, marking their first week of gains this year. The recent rally across the equity market was triggered by a surge in oil futures as well as the European and Japanese central banks, hinting at additional stimulus. The Nasdaq Composite Index climbed by 2.3% on the week, closing at 4,591. The Dow Jones Industrial Average added 0.7% for the week, reaching the closing price of 16,093. Meanwhile, the S&P 500 index advanced by 1.4% and in the previous week at 1,906. All 10 major S&P sectors closed in the green. The U.S. equity market made an attempt to rebound on Thursday after a bout of heavy selling seen on Wednesday. Investor sentiment in the American stock exchange improved against the backdrop of high oil prices and the outcome of the European Central Bank's meeting. This time, the ECB refrained from making any moves to readjust the monetary policy. However, Mario Draghi acknowledged that downside risks had increased and signaled that the bank was ready to reassess its stance at the next meeting in March and introduce more stimulus measures if needed. Macroeconomic statistics published in the United States did not provide market players with clear motivation. On Wednesday, building permits dropped again and the consumer price index came in below market expectations. It was revealed that Thursday that the number of initial jobless claims increased, falling below the forecasts. The Philly Fed Manufacturing Index rose to minus 3.5 in January from minus 10.2, while slower growth had been anticipated. On Friday, the January reading for the manufacturing PMI beat the forecast and the previous print. The data on existing home sales also turned out to be better than expected. Shares of energy companies went upwards following a rise in crude prices. The stock of Chevron Corporation and Holliburton aided more than 3%. This week, Silicon Valley Giants will unveil their financial reports. Apple will be among them. The first fiscal quarter is usually considered to be the strongest period for Apple because of Christmas and New York holidays. Analysts predict that beat financial results. We will find out what the actual figures are right after the close of today's trading session. On Friday, shares of the high-tech giant rose 5.3% amid the positive trading sentiment. Recently, experts state the viewpoint that Apple has to streamline its business. Judging from the dynamic of Apple's shares, investors are not pleased with the latest innovations like a smartwatch or large screen tablet. Nevertheless, Apple still remains one of the pillars of the IT market and its rivals have not been able to surpass its success so far. General Electric's shares dropped in value, closing 1.4% down on Friday. The corporation increased its financial results in the fourth quarter. Total profit exceeded market expectations, while the quarterly revenue was much worse than the forecasts. Besides, operating profits of General Electric's key division dealing with energy infrastructure, transport, aviation and healthcare sank 6% to 5.1 billion US dollars in the fourth quarter. You have watched weekly stock market review prepared for you by InstaForex TV company. See you later.